and we're back for what is probably going to be the last round. Um, in case you missed it, our last opponent uh, <laughs> rage quit because they couldn't figure out how to tap their lands. Uh, so that match was really short, so I thought I'll just do another one. Uh, oh, this hand. It seems great, but it's it's a bit slow. I mean, it grinds nicely, I guess. Um, we're on the draw. Nah. Nah, I don't want to keep something like this. Ugh, man. Now I feel dumb. Yeah. Can't go down again. A bird or a hierarch or even that one Lanawa elf on top would be great. Ooh, okay. So, Jund? No, not Jund. Elves? Alright. Look, they also play bad cards. Uh, now the sand is really bad. <laughs> uh, okay. Go ahead. Sure. It's not very exciting. Yeah. Um Yeah, this is not going well. Maybe we can get knight out and then it just acts as a, a roadblock. <clears throat> so I can't path because they're stuck on mana. So, it, I mean, pathing the land elves is okay, but to waste the path on that seems seems bad. That's not a bad draw. Um, okay, let's play knight. I mean, if he just doesn't draw anything for like 10 turns, ah, nuts. At least we got a bit of a roadblock here with uh, Knight. But uh, I think this deck is going to really struggle to beat this. Uh, oh, this may be one of those matches where we, we worship and then Birds of Paradise them to death again. Yeah. Yeah. Make a bunch of mana. Play our Arch Druid, I assume. Oh. Uh. Is that wise? Uh, okay. Um, I think... I think that means if we... <laughs> if we get rid of the Heritage Druid, he dies. Because he won't be... <laughs> he won't be able to play this cast twice. I mean, he must have a an arch druid or something. Otherwise, he's gonna get so badly punished for this. Yeah. Okay. Um. And another creature. If he stops here, we might be able to take him off. Uh. Being able to pay. Okay, so let's 
Let's do some maths. He needs to pay 8 or he loses. So this guy produces 6 because uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This guy produces 6. So it doesn't really matter which one we get rid of. Oh man, like six. Well, no. If we get rid of this, then this only produces five. Five, six, seven, eight. If we get rid of this, no. If we get rid of this, then he can only make three. Yeah, I think we got this. Um. The question is just when. Does he have to do this in upkeep? And he'll get a land. So if we take that out, he can tap for three, three, four, five, six, seven. Because of the land that he'll get from path. Ah, oh, oh, I'm such an idiot. I should have played tracker. Um. Alright, but But I think we win here. Unless I've counted wrong. And we're not going to attack. So three See, the thing is, he can only activate Heritage Druid once, or use that ability once. So, four. Yeah, I think we just win. Three. Okay, so he pays for one, and then he can't pay for the other. <laughs> yeah, I probably realized this mistake. <laughs> so I played badly there. Uh, I tapped badly and, and stuff. But that was quite an interesting win. I I didn't think I would ever win a game like that. <laughs> okay. So worship is coming in. Um, mind sense, I think, because they're probably on the the infinite life plan which is a problem for worship so we're going to want removal phenon is probably good and then things that come out so we're on the draw um, I don't think voice is very good Solid Pride Mage. Hmm. <clears throat> I want to draw a lot of cards. So let's take out Pride Mage and maybe two of those. And then we have to bring our curve down a bit. Maybe <coughs> one. company and we put a voice back. Yep. Your game has started. Oh, that's a good hand. Okay. Jeez, that was so weird. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm still a bit sick. <coughs> Yep. I would love to turn one dismember that. Um, people who haven't played against elves, this is like definitely the best card in the deck. It's insanely good. I mean, you saw how much mana it generated on as soon as he got another land. And here we go. Just three mana for doing nothing.
I think we were very lucky to get that win because I don't think this matchup is good for us. So, Azuri is a problem. Do we want Corsa or Knight? Or just all the dorks? Oh, it would be two dorks. If we could get three dorks out, I would actually consider that. It means we can do anything next turn. But uh, if only two, it's not not as appealing. <coughs> Let's go for Corsa because I need to find answers for things. And you get a tiny little bit of card advantage out of it. Alright. Azuri is definitely a problem. We need a path. Or a dismember. I wonder how many they play. Well, we get to a point where they can just run over us. We get to that point very quickly. <coughs> Come on, opponent. Cost three summoners packed. What's going on? Uh, so what do we think? Company? It smells like a company to me. Well, we couldn't attack anyway. Uh, um, I know it's it's it seems weird to not play the the knight. And it's very possibly the wrong decision, but I want to go wide a bit, and then maybe we can we can do something with Gavany. Um because like also double Corsa could buy us some time. So we'll we'll see. Okay, so he didn't have Coco, which is interesting. Scary stuff. See, that's the thing with these uh, the elf decks. Like once they dump their hand, they start drawing like the stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, well that's that's very good. Yeah, <laughs> that is pretty decent. I don't know how we stop that. Can't do it this turn, surely not. Like, what would be the point? All your stuff is tapped. I suppose it's Nettle Sentinel, it's not. <laughs> That's big. Okay. Uh, and they have Trample. Uh, so, is there a way we don't die here? So, they all have Trample, so the mass is easy. We've got 6 toughness, and they've got 18, 30. <laughs> So we can, we'll still take 24 damage no matter what we do. Alright. Go to the next game. Uh, do we change anything? Oh, this is protection from green. What am I, stupid? Yeah, we'll definitely take that. Um, over... Eternal Witness and get in the driver's seat.
Your game has started. Mm, no, definitely can't keep that. Ugh, yuck. I don't want to go any lower. Knight. I don't think we want to draw the knight. Um, <clears throat> I know you shouldn't, you know, crack the fetches, or you shouldn't automatically crack the fetches because of Tyler's tracker, but, uh, life totals is important here, and I would like to get a Temple Garden. So, I think just end of turn, get Temple Garden. And we still drew knight. Amazing. Uh, I think they're about the same. Play that. Damn, that god is good. The synergy is crazy. Yeah. Oh my lord. <laughs> this is just crazy. This is turn two. That's a start that would make Infinity blush. <laughs> wow. Oh no, you can't. It would be a chord for zero. I mean... Oh, okay. Oh, that's a pretty good turn one. I mean turn two. Hey, it's that card that should be banned because people can't tell the difference between that and another land. I suppose it's not that art that's the problem, but still. Those people need to uh, get over it. Okay, so we need to find worship, and we need to find a worship quick. And I think the best way to do that is tracker. And hopefully, we're not dead next turn. Hopefully. Uh, that doesn't really mean anything. Well, luckily he used the cord in his hand, so you can't mark cord for something dumb. Shit. Alright, I think we're dead. Um, three mana. Uh, uh, he's got. I oh know, sorry, I thought that was a Nexus. But still, this will do it. Yep. Just want to see it. How much damage would you take in on, on turn three? Uh, eleven, twenty-two, uh, thirty-three, forty-three, uh, fifty-seven. Fifty-seven damage on turn three. Well, yeah, <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah, we're on negative 38 on turn 3. Jeez. Well, that was just stupid. Well, the frustrating thing is it looked like he wasn't playing the, the combo version. So if we had found worship, like, we probably would have won. 
Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so I think I think that's it. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't do so well, but uh, I think that is for reasons that are not related to the deck. That's partly me not being so not being well versed with it, uh, and also Storm seems like a bad matchup, and Elves seems like a horrendous matchup. Uh, I think the deck is fantastic. It seems quite strong, it seems consistent, it grinds really well, which I like. Um, there's maybe a, f a few things that need to be fixed. Best part of this deck is the mana base. It's so smooth. Um, like, it's just fantastic. Anyway, so we're going to stop there. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Uh, as always, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, you know, say something on Facebook. Uh, let me know if you want to, if you want me to play something specific. Uh, and also, let me know if you want to play against me. Like, I would love to uh, to play some some games against people that I actually know on X Mage. Uh, I think that would be fun. And also, then I could trash talk you. Uh, and I wouldn't feel bad about trash talking to stranger. So there is that. Anyway, thanks guys. Cheers. Have a good one.